name is Tim Whitehouse. I'm the Executive Director of Chesapeake Physicians for Social Responsibility. Uh, we look at strengthening Reggie as a health issue. As an organization of doctors and other health professionals and health advocates, we strongly support the Reggie program. Our members and supporters see the adverse health consequences of air pollution from fossil fuel energy generation every day. In Maryland, for example, coal-fired power plants are one of the largest sources of both carbon dioxide and air pollutants. The pollution from these plants damages our cardiovascular and respiratory health and threatens the healthy development of our children. Major medical societies throughout the world and in Maryland agree that climate change is one of the greatest health threats of our time. We know that CO2 emissions that Reggie is designed to control are one of the major causes of climate change. In surveys conducted by three separate U.S. medical professional societies, a significant majority of surveyed physicians concurred that climate change is having a direct impact on the health of their patients, and that physicians anticipate even greater climate-driven adverse health impacts in the future. In Maryland, we are already seeing the effects of climate change. The last 15 months have been the hottest on record. This heat threatens our most vulnerable citizens, such as the elderly and low-income residents that do not have the means to stay cool. This problem is exacerbated in Baltimore, for example, by the urban heat island effect. High temperatures also lead to poorer air quality and climate change causes rising sea levels and increase in extreme weather events and flooding and infrastructure damage. It also increases the spread of vector-borne diseases such as Lyme and Zika and threatens our food systems. We see what's happening. We see it every day. We've seen it in Ellicott City. We've seen it in the orange and red air quality alert days this summer. I believe there have been 15 or 16 where the air quality is so poor that sensitive groups or even the general public are adversely affected when they're outside in these air days. Reggie has been a success in reducing climate and air pollution and strengthening the economy of Maryland. Please continue to support a strong Reggie program. Independent analysis shows that Maryland and other Reggie states can achieve the 5% annual reduction in greenhouse gases while creating tens of thousands of new clean energy jobs and strengthening our economy. Mm -hmm. It's important for Governor Hogan, if he believes that climate change is a serious issue, to use his bully pulpit to convince other states to strengthen their efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, not the other way around. Thank you.